Hello, I'm Zora Marco from Early Learning Association Australia and I'm the project manager of the Starting Out Safely program. Today I'm here with Olivia from Montgomery Park Kindergarten who was part of our Road Safety Education Inquiry project. Olivia, do you want to tell us a little bit about your involvement in the Road Safety Education project? Sure. Um, so here at Montgomery Park Kindergarten, we wanted children to be more active in our community. So we found that a lot of families, even though they live just up the hill or just around the corner, they were hopping in the car and driving to kinder and we found that being out in the community, being visible in the community helped children to be safer pedestrians. And we had uh, bits and pieces of road safety within the program, but I guess it wasn't as intentional as what it's been for me this year. I've always found that it's definitely something that children need to know about. It wasn't always an in intentionally taught. Uh, community outings have always been uh, part of my program, but it's been a different focus um, to what it has been this year with road safety. And how did you include children in the design of what you did around road safety now? Uh, well the first thing we did was to find out what they knew about road safety and what they needed to know about road safety and so we're just sort of taking notice of what sort of drivers I guess they were being with their cars and out on our walks we really took notice of what kind of pedestrians they were and did they notice the, the traffic signs around us and did they notice where the safe places to cross were. And, and have you had any feedback from the parents and families of the children since you've started on this program? Yeah we've, we've had a lot of feedback and it's all been so such a positive response and road safety is definitely on the radar for families and because you know we've made it something at the front of our program that families are starting the conversations children are taking these conversations home they want to walk to kinder they want to walk around in the community they're telling their families how to be safe in the community so you're finding that the children are educating their parents absolutely and yes absolutely yeah. yeah and and their grandparents as well <laughs> Yeah. And is there anything about the knowledge of the children within the service that has surprised you? Yeah, absolutely. They know what the traffic signs mean. If someone rides past on their bike that's not wearing a helmet, they'll call it out. <laughs> when you cross the road, you only cross at a pedestrian crossing. So in terms of where to from here, now that you're, you're going out on um, more excursions and that you're really encouraging parents and families to walk more and rather than just you know, drive to, to your service. Where to from here around road safety? Yeah, I would also like to address some of the um, unsafe areas in our neighbourhood, some of the crossings that are not safe and some of the areas that are not safe to make it safer and easier for um, kindergarten uh, groups to get out and for the teachers to feel confident in taking the children out. <laughs> The Albion Street crossing, there's a lot of bus stops, there's a bus stop on one side of it, there's a bus stop on the other side of it. Um, being on the hill, the traffic sort of picks up speed mm. and it's not always easy to see people that are crossing and we, we do have to wait until a couple of cars have gone through and I often like to cross the road when cars have stopped there because mm. then I know that we're going to be seen because there's already cars stopping. We start off our excursions quite small so we'll just walk around the block until we sort of get to know the children, get to know what kind of uh, pedestrians they are out and about and once they sort of build up their confidence and we get to know them better then we, we take it further and further and further until you know we're walking two kilometres one way and then two kilometres yeah. back the other way. What do you think are some of the benefits of your children going out into into the community? Well they're definitely seeing how we're all connected and the schools are so close by, the library's close by, the childcare centre and the maternal health nurse is close by. Walking, you know, we'll walk past some one of the children's house and then three doors up um, some would say, well that's my house and even though they've lived next door to each or almost next door to each other, they haven't actually realised until we've been out on that walk and they've put that connection together or they might know somebody that lives into the, in the same same street or the same house. You took some statistics or did a, a, a bit of a survey of, of the families and the children within your centre. What did they show around children and families and walking? Well, it showed us that over half of our families drove, even though you know they lived less than a kilometre away. Maybe a quarter would walk occasionally. 
three people caught public transport and two people rode their bikes or their scooters. Mm. The conversation we're having at Kinder um, about walking to walking to Kinder flowed onto at home, and so the children were then telling their parents that, oh, you know, I want to walk to Kinder. They got to put an orange dot on the chart that, to say that they'd walk to Kinder. So that was pretty exciting when you can put a dot on the chart. So again, children yeah, were the influencers. Inf absolutely influenced yeah. um, walking to Kinder. Yeah, fantastic. And so we had like a 50% increase over um, walk to school month. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Mom!